Hey there kids, what's up? And welcome to another edition of the Contemporary Review. I'm your host, Andre. Looks like I'm doing another edition of this show, Dead Fucking Tired, on a Friday night, which seems to be my life and my curse. But moving on to sweeter things, we're going to be presenting to you this evening Le Bûcheron by Swiss painter Ferdinand Hodler. So, not much to say about this one besides that it's a Swiss classic and has been used for various pieces of propaganda by the right wing. It represents uh, Lumberjack busy cutting down a tree in a dynamic manner. And uh, that's pretty much it. You've got a tree and a lumberjack. And I don't recall having seen it for real. But I know that Hodler's not a bad guy. There aren't that many well-known Swiss painters, so what can I say? Did a good job while he was around. Let's check it out. Riggedy, riggedy, right? Now... Okay, well, what to say about this piece of work? Well, the first thing that I was noticing with this is how the dude is wearing slacks, and mostly how I'm glad I have a high-quality version of this painting, because the texture on the slacks and on the rest of the painting is pretty impressive. I think it's a little bit that uh, mastery of uh, Hodler's use of color and material that really managed to get this thing juicing. Now, of course, the main selling point on this thing is how dynamic this dude is up here. He's uh, got his axe up in the air. He's just about to swing down and finish cutting off this tree. He's strong, dedicated macho guy he looks like someone that could build a fucking country or at least keep it together but that aside what the fuck is that big ufo up in the top left corner i mean i was looking at that for what feels like half an hour but it was probably just some like 30 seconds it's also surrounded by a couple of those tree branches on the top. I don't know what it is. There's a part of me that was thinking that he's on top of some sort of snowy tree banks, but maybe the background is just fog or some sort of abstract lack of background. 
In any case, that texture of whites and broken whites and kind of creamy colors is really nice. I don't think it's that bad. And uh, once you look a little bit closer, you zoom in a bit, you can see there's almost some sort of like, it looks like pencil drawings, but it's probably some other color. Scribbled onto the guy's face, discerning some sort of mustache. And uh, that's not too bad, actually. I wonder what people thought of that back then. The tree also at the bottom is just kind of simple. It's really... Uh, down to the bare bone essentials right there. You could just sort of get what it is through the nuances and color. And then those shoes, man. Check out those shoes. But still, um, I gotta admit, though the character creeps me out, the nuances of blue and the different colors in his hands and pants. It's uh, quite uh, subtle has a sublime quality to it. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't make it so bad. Lastly, I had kind of noticed how the shadows from the trees were giving a lot of um, depth and materialism. No, that's, that's not the word I meant. Tangibility to the environment. So... Not fucking bad. Even though it's been used for propaganda, I gotta say this piece by Ferdinand Hodler, though not my favorite, is Death's Iconic. Check out that axe, man. That thing is not only well-crafted, but it looks fucking dangerous, useful, and when wielded in the right hands, whoo, papa. Not a good sign. I'd give this um, painting a good 4.5 out of 11. Or if I wanted to be serious for once, I'd probably give it a good 8 out of fucking 10. I think it's quite big also, so really worth seeing it. Anything by Ferdinand Hodler, really great, great colors, great material, really feels very instinctive. All of his stuff. Nice to look at. This has been Andre for the Contemporary Review. Episode 3, I think. See y'all another time.